Fair, Danny Slaw is here to help us all out. So welcome to the birthday week. Thank you, so excited. And you've dressed the part. You say having a little pop of color, okay, it can feel like, oh, grade school, but it can really make a difference. Yeah. Well, some people have a love-hate relationship with birthdays, let's be honest, right? Mm. Sometimes more of a hate than a love. So when you dress the part, it's like a gift to people, giving them something really nice to look at. So my thought was, let's take a cue from birthday presents. Okay, lots They've of got, colors. Yeah, lots of colors. There's like a bright color in there somewhere. There's bows. So what we're talking about is like maybe a bright pop of color, if that's not your thing, go with rounded shapes. So we could do like you've got with your sleeves, puff sleeves, a puff yeah, sleeve, and fun. we could do that here. We could do a little, you know, like a mimic a bow type of a sleeve on this sweater. I think it's subtle, <clears throat> and I love the color too. It can go with everything, neutrals. Yeah. You can't go wrong with that. Yeah. But if you want a pop of color, why not? Right, right. And even do a bow. Like I've got just a little bow. You could do a sash. Um, dresses are great for women, but Always check and see what the theme is, what the dress code is. So I'm trying to give you some options of casual to a little more dressy. And some shine and sparkle. You can mm -hmm. always add that to your wardrobe. Exactly. Tell yep. us how yep. that can okay, also so liven up your mood, especially yes. for a birthday, a celebration. Yes, because the way you dress affects the way you feel and the way you act and then how others react or respond to you. So if you're not feeling like you're in the mood, put on something shiny, a little flashy. Okay, so more examples. A little bit of shine, the threading in this top. And again, we've got these rounded sleeves that are curvy, mimicking the shape of a bow. Um, if we wanna dress up a little bit more, some shiny cords could be more dressy in black. And then this is a good a good time, maybe an evening birthday party to pull out your black leather pants. I love these boot cut ones from Banana Republic. And for guys, I know a lot of guys tend to want to just float in the background. So here's kind of a subtle party shirt. Great if you've got some blonde hair or brown eyes. And then here would be your pop of color. You could layer it over or just wear it plain. And then when in doubt, dark blue jeans for guys oh, is always gonna be appropriate. I was thinking those were just regular slacks, but yeah, you can be are, comfy mm -hmm. with those darker jeans and mm -hmm. it dresses it up a little bit. Exactly. And that color exactly. blue is great. You can't go wrong with that either. I don't think so either. I think it's, you know, it's subtle enough to be comfortable and but still bright enough to get a little bit of attention and be happy because that's what it's all about right well, being happy definitely the happy vibe mm. but also what i'm noticing are the textures you've placed different you with the shiny with the leather or the velvet mm -hmm. yeah one of my rules of thumb is if you're going to go monochromatic change up the textures ah so if it's the same color black with black or off white with the tan which is actually monochromatic you're gonna change up those textures a little bit and it makes it more interesting, not quite so dull and boring. And I also like this tip. You say it's better to dress up than be totally dressed down. Like it I, does lift your mood and your confidence. It does, and I am hearing that a lot from clients now. They wanna be the one that's dressed up as opposed to our COVID sweats. People are, you know, thinking differently now. I'd rather so, be overdressed than underdressed. And if, and if that's the case, we'll take off a jacket or a layer if you're too overdressed. What would you tell women though? Mm -hmm. They're looking at their closet, they get invited to a celebration and they say, oh, do I wanna stand out with a bright pink or do I just wanna go with maybe the muted colors? What would you tell them to maybe think I outside think the box? If you're in doubt, go with the muted colors and add a bright necklace or a bright scarf. Just add one little thing or bright sneakers, especially for guys. Do something kind of dull, but then liven it up with your shoes. But then also people, to get people <clears throat> over the fear of like, hey, color isn't bad or being a little flashy is okay. It's true. Like I said, it's your gift to the host. It's your way of saying, hey, Thank you for inviting me. I am in it, I am engaging, and, and I'm a fun spark to your party. There you go, be the sparkle of the party. And yeah. Danny, no more excuses. If you've been waiting to wear that really pretty top, wear it this holiday, style by Danny.com. She has all the advice for you, and you're also on Instagram. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Dina, what is coming up in the kitchen? Well, I loved that segment. Nothing wrong with being a little extra. Mm -hmm. <laughs>